The U.S. has justified the strikes on both Yemen and Iraq as a response to a series of attacks against U.S. personnel since the Israel-Hamas war began. Washington's been trying to keep the war from spilling over into a wider conflict, but Iraq says the U.S.'s actions are having an adverse effect. Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani called the strikes on Iraqi territory an unacceptable act undermining years of cooperation, blatantly violating Iraq's sovereignty and contributing to an irresponsible escalation. Iraq's national security adviser told the U.S. to focus on pressuring Israel to stop its offensive in Gaza instead, while the spokesperson for Iraq's military declared it would treat these operations as acts of aggression and take necessary actions to preserve the lives and dignities of Iraqis on their land. The U.S. airstrikes hit in the areas of Juf al-Saka and al-Qaim, targeting three facilities used by Iranian-backed militia groups, according to Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin, as a direct response to a series of escalatory attacks against U.S. and coalition personnel in Iraq. There are roughly 2,500 U.S. troops in Iraq who coordinate operations of Iraqi security forces to counter the Islamic State group. Iraq accuses the U.S. of overstepping its mission and has demanded its withdrawal.